Yo, what is going on YouTube? Thank you guys for tuning into another video. I hope you guys are having a good day. And as you can tell by the title of the video, we are gonna be doing a boot review, but it's gonna be a little bit different this time. So we're gonna be talking about the New Balances Tekelas. We're gonna be doing the high end and the low end uh, review. So you guys are gonna get a full review of both boots. So the first thing we're gonna cover with the boots is the comfort. Now, as you guys can see, they are laceless. So getting them on was a bit tricky and tough, but they felt really good. It felt really comfortable around my foot, around the ankle area, which was really nice. And what you guys are seeing on screen right now is me just dribbling before practice. So just warming up, getting a feel for the boot. But the first thing that I would say is the comfort inside the boot feels really nice. So a really good start. I'll let this play through and you guys will see me dribbling with my left foot, with my right foot, just warming up with the boot and getting a good feel off the start. So the next thing we got into after our dribbling warm up was just some regular passes with a couple teammates. So just getting a feel for the boot with the passing. Now, this is usually when you guys start feeling how comfortable the boot is while you guys are moving. And I know it's not a lot of high intensity, but you do get a good feel of the boot. So uh, starting off with the passing felt really good. And the next clip you guys are gonna see is just me going into rondos. So a little bit more intensity uh, with the boots. <laughs> all right y'all so transitioning into the low end takelas now right off the bat these ones have the laces built in so they were a lot easier to get on and felt uh, pretty comfortable at first i know the look of them is a bit different and you can tell which one is obviously the high end and which one is the low end but honestly guys uh, off the first feeling I was feeling pretty good so getting the boots on was really easy nice and simple and you guys know I like the boot to be nice and tight so which is one of my favorite features so getting it on was nice and comfortable and as you guys can see it looks really good on camera so uh, so far so good um, you know good pointers for the low end one So after we got done with our shooting, I thought I would do the same type of dribbling that we did with the high-end Tekelas, just so we can get that same feel of the same intensity. So then that way I could really compare the both. And now I think this is where, uh, you know, you really start feeling the difference in the boots. Um, as you guys know, dribbling takes a lot more intensity. So this is where I really started feeling a little more pain and uh, less comfort inside the boot, but uh, just the different level of comfort while I was dribbling, you know, you could really tell the difference. And then right after we got into dribbling, I thought we'd try and pass it, adding game movement, you know, uh, shifting off from the left to right, working on one touch passing, two touch passing is when you really see the difference. Now, um, you know, overall, the low end boots aren't as bad as everyone thinks they are. Honestly, if it gets the job done, then it's, a great boot you know what i mean but uh for me preferably i think the high end for more impact more high intensity passing and more movement is probably the best bet so i thought i'd take this time to obviously go over both boots as i have them both right beside me so uh we're gonna go over these ones first so the high end ones honestly the touch of this boot was a lot better than what i thought it would be uh, everyone was saying it looked fire it felt really good i played a little bit of two touch as you guys saw i was passing in the warm-up and did some things uh but honestly um really good boot so far i've liked it i think the biggest thing for me is i like my shoes to be really tight so uh not having the laces around the boot makes it kind of feel a bit bigger and also if you're like me and you have slimmer feet 100 percent like it's a great boot, but I think if you were to get these, it would be best to get them in a half size smaller. 
because then you guys can have it be really tight if you if you get what I mean. Overall, the texture of the boot, the feel of it, the look of it, it's just it's honestly really really nice boot. Uh, the soles, as I show you guys, the bottom here uh, looks fire. I really like the pink that they have going on, you know, like the see-through pink, which is really nice. And the design, I know a lot of my teammates were saying they liked how the design kind of faded, and and so it looks really nice on this side. You got the New Balance, which is you know proper, but definitely definitely like this boot the comfort around the boot felt amazing you know and it felt really really good so uh good boot i think i give it a uh honestly seven and a half out of ten if i'm being honest if it was a half size smaller i would give it an eight out of ten it would just it felt like it wrapped around my foot there was a lot of support around the ankle so i really like this area i didn't have any pain or felt any uh, you know, uh, stress in the back of my heel, which was really nice. Honestly, I think uh, New Balances, these are these are uh, pretty proper. So these are the high-end ones, and then we go into uh, the low-end ones. So I wore these after training. As you guys saw, I did a little bit of dribbling, a little bit of shooting, and also a little bit of passing. So once you first get these on, it's honestly not as bad as some people think. I just don't like the shape of it. You know what I mean? Like if you compare them both, side by side so if we have let me give you guys the left and the left one here so if you compare them both side by side you can clearly tell that you know these ones are the higher make and the look is kind of different as you guys can see these ones are a lot more shinier and they just they just look a lot better right but once you first get these on they're not bad it just it hurt my foot a little bit on the inside and i felt like there was less support on the heel area so it did kind of hurt I did like the part where we had the laces where I could, you know, easily just tie it. Super easy for me to get it on. I think these ones look good too. Like on the camera, it looked really nice. It looked really clean. I like the pink and I like the different shades of pink on this side, but it's just obviously, you know, uh, for me as a footballer, I want to be wearing, you know, what professional footballers are wearing. Other professional players that I look up to and see what they're wearing. So, uh, you know, not a bad boot, but I think I would definitely go with the high end boots just because of preference and look and just, you know, obviously when you're playing, you want to be like, look good and you want to be playing good, right? Which is the most important. So, um, you know, I, I, I really enjoyed trying out both of these boots. Like I told you guys, it was my first time trying out New Balance cleats. This is obviously my opinion. And so people will have different opinions and when they try on different boots, but uh, my opinion is uh, that I really like the high-end ones. Let's say you can't afford, you know, the high-end ones and they're a little bit more pricey, honestly. At the end of the day, if you're scoring goals and you're playing well, then, you know, that's the most important. You know, I honestly, like a lot of the guys were, were like, oh, New Balances, like I guess they're stepping up their game because, you know, not a lot of people wear the New Balance boots, but I really liked them, really enjoyed them, really happy that I can share my experience uh, with the boots for you guys. My opinion on the new balances are, these are fire, they look good, you can play good, and you guys will definitely enjoy them. And you know, huge shout out to the soccer shop and huge shout out to you guys. Make sure you guys go check them out on Instagram, check them out on YouTube. They're gonna be dropping a video of us soon, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, but yeah, huge shout out to them. Thank you very much for sending me these boots. Make sure you guys check out the soccer shop, play watch wear. And yeah, give them a follow. I'll see you guys in a little bit.